Hi and welcome to our channel. Today, the fresh portion of news specially for you. Let's start. Ethereum begins recovery while bears retain control. Ethereum continues its decline below the $2,800 support level against the US dollar. The price of Ather has just climbed above the 23.6% Fibonacci retracement level of the key decline from a swing high of 3,188 to a low of 2,575. The immediate upside resistance is near the 2,755 level. The next major resistance is near the 2,800 level and the 100-hour simple moving average. A clear move above 2,800 could push the price up to 2,880. The 50% Fibonacci retracement level of the key decline Decline from the swing high of 3,888 to a low of 2,575 is also near the resistance zone at 2,880. Eternity has introduced the Luka Modric collection dedicated to the Croatian soccer player. Luka Modric is one of the three players of his generation who won the Golden Ball, reached the final of the 2018 World Cup. Eternity is an innovative authenticated NFT project that auctions verified works of art featuring the best artists and starts from sports, music, film, games, technology, history and entertainment. Each digital work of art is presented as a non-exchangeable token. The presented collection puts Modric on a pedestal where the high-quality digital art and wearable items that fans and collectors may find valuable and useful because Modric is versatile both a central midfielder and a dangerous attacking midfielder, Eternity takes the NFT ecosystem farther and is proud to partner with a player of this caliber to advance the ball. Luka Modric's wearable jerseys will be available in several metaverses, including Sandbox, which Eternity recently announced a strategic partnership with, and the Eternity metaverse, which will be announced shortly. Hacking OpenSea – NFT by millions stolen from users the NFT platform is looking into rumors of a hacker stealing valuable NFTs from platform users. High-value NFTs are reported being attacked by hackers on the OpenSea trading platform. NFT holders across the board are in turmoil as reports have surfaced that hackers are actively stealing NFTs and flipping them to profit from OpenSea, the world's largest NFT platform. This attack on OpenSea came shortly after it was discovered that because of a bug in the code, attackers could steal NFTs at old prices without the owner's knowledge. Although OpenSea has not yet cracked the hacked platform, the marketplace warned its users by uploading a statement to its website and Twitter. Tensions between Russia and Ukraine are wiping $160 billion off the crypto markets. According to CoinMarketCap.com, the cryptocurrency market slumped fell to $1.82 trillion from $1.98 trillion in the week to 19th February, losing about 8.1%. Fears over a possible Russian invasion of Ukraine put pressure on cryptocurrency markets this week, whipping out market value by about $160 billion as investors filed into relatively safer asset classes. Safe haven assets, including gold, US treasuries, and stablecoins, benefited. Trading volumes rose to $72.3 billion from $64.5 billion for the week. As cryptocurrencies trade more in the line with traditional asset classes, many have begun to question whether the space, especially Bitcoin, is available bad against volatility. Exchanges weren't cryptocurrency users as Canada freezes more cryptocurrency wallets. The Canadian government continues to put pressure on truckers protesting COVID-19 mandates. Individuals and businesses will face full sanctions in connection with the Freedom Convoy. In cooperation with law enforcement, the Deputy Prime Minister said that Canada's Financial Intelligence Regulator, the Financial Transaction Analyst and Reporting Centre of Canada, has begun registering crowdfunding platforms and payment service providers. Ethereum hash rate hits new all-time high amid market bloodbath. The number of Ethereum in circulation increases as the average hash rate reaches a new all-time high. 
Ethereum's mining capacity has set another surge to a new all-time high as the cryptocurrency market as a whole faces a new wave of pressure from sellers due to an increased risk aversion trend in global financial markets. Ethereum's average hash rate has been rising continuously since the summer of 2021, when the Chinese government decided to initiate strict measures against the mining industry, leading to a sharp drop in the mining capacity of all cryptocurrencies operating in the POW. W protocol. Cryptocurrency lender Nexo will stop paying interest on new U.S. customer deposits. Nexo has announced a set of policy changes for U.S. customers. According to an email sent to customer and statement on Nexo's official subreddit, the policy changes affect both existing accounts and new accounts, with the firm stating that it has voluntarily implemented changes to its earned interest product in the United States to comply with recently announced guidance. Registered Nexo customers who currently earn interest on the platform will continue to do so only on their existing digital asset balances, the firm said. Helium decentralized wireless network raised $200 million. According to Axios, Helium has raised $200 million in Series D at a valuation of $1.2 billion. Tiger Global and After X Ventures reportedly joined existing backers such as Kosha Ventures and Multicoin Capital. The company previously held a $111 million token sale led by Anderson Horowitz. Helium builds a decentralized crypto-based wireless network that delivers bandwidth and collect data from the Internet of Things devices. Owners of network access points receive Helium tokens, the amount of which increases as the asset point is used. Thanks for watching this video till the end. Hope you enjoyed. Hope this was useful. Take care and see you in the next video.